Look, man, y'all know I be all over the place and I'm trying to help run a business, but Goody Brand can be difficult because there's so many emails, so many people to sell to, so many shipping things, and that's why we use Shopify, okay? It really helps you stay organized in the easiest way, okay? Look, plus Shopify's extensive help resources are there to support your success every step of the way, okay? Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash chaser, all lowercase. That's right, go to shopify.com slash chaser now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. I said shopify.com slash chaser. We use it for real. Oh, baby, baby, how was I supposed to know, uh, bitch, that something wasn't right here, oh, something, something, I shouldn't have let you go, now you're out of sight, yeah, uh, show me, bitch, how you want it to be. All right, y'all, what's up? <laughs> Welcome back to the No Chaser Podcast. I'm Tim Chataraksu. I'm Ricky Shucks. Wow, wow, wow. Coming back to the podcast. Look, it's been a whole ass year. I was going through my phone, right? You know how your phone is like a year ago today, this happens, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit, butt naked Kazumi <laughs> on now, the couch. Here I am. And now, and I was, but clothed. I, yeah, but clothed. <laughs> and I sent it to Kazumi. I was like, yo, look. Kazumi, look, a whole year ago. She was like, let's run it back. I was like, let's run it back. I spun the block. I matured. I have clothes on. No panties, but I got the clothes on. Oh, she's lying. She got panties on. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Nah, she's lying. I can just see it. Oh, well. Nah, uh, Kazumi, she was like, I'm coming back. I'm not going to get naked this time, though. I'm, I, was, I was like... That's cool. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if you like me with my clothes on, but I'm here. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. We were just talking about this. Uh, Kazumi was like, you know, you're welcome for the Patreon money because the Patreon went up, bro. It and went berserk. It went kind of crazy. Like, um, you know, to be fair, for the Patreon people, I ain't really been doing shit. Okay. <laughs> so this was the moment. This was it was this a was moment. Uh, so it was like, and if you don't know what we're talking about, Kazumi was on last year. She randomly got butt naked. She ruined the, the joke. I got too she excited. absolutely did. I, I, I came too fast. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you fucking blew your load all over the shit. Because we were supposed to, she was supposed to just get naked randomly for no reason. We weren't going to address it at all. <laughs> and then so I was going to give her the code word, which was like, nice shoes, right? So then I was like, oh, what kind of shoes are those? She was like, that's my cue to get naked, right? I'm like, come on. <laughs> I'm I, um, I got a little too high for that for that podcast, but I'm completely not high right now. Oh, okay. Right now. All It'll good. Like 10 minutes and then I'm going to be like, woohoo. All right, so I say the code word that. now. <laughs> <laughs> code word is code word. <laughs> nah, but she was like, uh, and oh yeah, so I put the butt naked episode on Patreon and, um, and the, the Patreon was going up. It I was, was like, my, the emails that were going crazy for a while. And um, we were just talking about, she brought up how crazy it is that like, you could literally Google Kazumi naked yeah. Two seconds. But they had so much love for you. They was like, I'm going to put money in Tim's pocket. I don't think that's it. Oh, they put, <laughs> was it money in my pocket? Yeah, I guess collaterally they came in and was like, did you fuck Tim? Did you fuck Tim? Like, no, but thank you for subscribing and asking for $3. I think it's more <laughs> just the taboo of it not being taboo. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, if you if there's a girl who does porn and it's free and I can see it everywhere, but then you tell me, she did it in public. Right. <laughs> and I got to pay to see? Yeah. I'm going to pay to see. <laughs> we love you, sex worker supporters. You've paid my rent a million times. Thank you. I also think it might have part to do with the fact that, like, you were on the couch talking with your coochie lips. Oh, I yeah. had to do that. And, it, and we, we zoomed in on that motherfucker. Like, <laughs> so, you know, on YouTube, it's just a big old blur. But yeah. somebody was definitely... Even somebody people, was probably like, no, I'm not going to pay for that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, that was like... All the, right. Like yeah. Half yeah. Wow. Even like if you weren't turned on at all, they're like... I gotta see this, <laughs> yeah, man. Like, is she actually? I, is I she admire actually? your strength to then not do it again. Because sometimes I feel like a podcast is like, mm. you know what? We yeah. fucked on the podcast once. Let's fuck every single podcast. You was like, nah, that was a one time only. Well, that was the thing too. Um, after we had you on and, you know, we were collaborating on our reels and shit like that. Um, I think a lot of like adult porn Oh, film. I unleashed it. You did. They, I think they appreciated, you know, I wasn't, you know, we, we, you know, we let you talk your shit. We weren't being disrespectful. It wasn't, yeah. you know, 
Um, and a lot of them were kind of in my DMs trying to come on, right? Oh. Um, we have Violet on. Yeah, and, yeah. And, you know, I Violet is just, booty. She's well, just the good. homie now, yeah. right? Yeah, that is cool. Um, and so, but a part of me was like, I don't want to necessarily become a porn star podcast. Yeah, that's a scary, yeah. slippery slope. We're a little, we're a little brand risky. <laughs> <laughs> and not that I've ever been brand friendly, but it's yeah. definitely a, yeah, it's a slippery slope. No pun intended. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. then so. they're like, can I suck you off? And then you're like, <laughs> 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 not a slippery slope for my dick. Yeah. A slippery slope. <laughs> oh, okay. That's <laughs> branding. Yeah, yeah. Branding purposes. Yeah, yeah no, nah, if I wanted to fuck a slippery slope. Slip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So. Um, but you know, the th thing about it is like, I've always just kind of been cool with like porn people. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like guys. Dancers. Yeah. Yeah. Only fans. Home, everything. Yeah. I remember a long time ago, um, I think my first porn star friend was, um, before she was in a, a, a like a porn star, she was kind of new to the game. Um, Adriana Maya. Mm -hmm. Um, don't and, know her, but she sounds hot. Oh, oh, cool. she's dope. She's dope. I always tell her too. I'm like, she's just, I, I like her acting skills. <laughs> yeah. I like, I, I, you'll be acting for real sometimes. Y'all be acting for real sometimes. Like, real production set, 11 page script that everyone zooms <laughs> past, but we do it and we take it so serious. I bet. And that's the thing. When I watched Adriana shit, I was like, I, there was one that I saw and I I texted her. I'm like, hey, you did really good. Your acting was on point here. Yeah. She's like, oh my God, thank you so much. No, you like give a fuck so hard about the acting. I really no felt like you couldn't pay your rent and this was your last resort. <laughs> <laughs> like, I really thought you were stuck in that dryer. It was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is, there, um, is there one that like, you know, because you said you all take the acting real serious, yeah, right? Yeah, mad serious. Is there one that you were like, Man, I really like the storyline here is like really sticking out I to me. I really wiped this one, which was in Budapest in Eastern Europe where I got frozen. <laughs> um, so I'm an office girl and my coworkers hate me. So they freeze me in the middle of a forest to gang bang me and teach me a lesson. So they freeze me and when I'm frozen, what's so funny? They freeze me and when I'm this frozen, hand. They, they use my body and my... And my mouth. And I can't blink when getting fucked hard. Of course. Oh, at, yeah, yeah. at all. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And so, and they didn't have eye drops on set because we don't have a union, so no one cares. <laughs> oh, just, um, yeah, so, it's going all dry. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, they click a button and you, like, come and, like, just, like, lose your shit. Dude, that was my best work. Yeah. This is great. Yeah, yeah. What was the name of that title? Do you remember? It was called Freeze. Okay. Freeze. And, but it was a, it took 16 hours. I kept oh, blinking. Oh, shit. I kept blinking. Because you, they wouldn't let you, come on, dog. No. Like, what the hell? like get, get off of my face. How about that? <laughs> they were like fucking the shit out of my face, and my face was like. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, That's yeah. so funny. Um, yeah, I I also love the ones that are um, like corny on purpose. You I know like what a good corny on purpose Dude, one. That's my shit. You ever seen Lemon Tree? Yeah, yeah. That girl, <laughs> Joanna Angel, she put her uh, her foot in my pussy, and she wore me like a croc. Huh. Her toes, not the whole foot. Oh, okay, either. okay. So, so more like uh, some just some high heels that were too small. Just a little stiletto <laughs> moment. Yeah, yeah. But actually, I'm trying to stop talking so much about sex. Right, I feel right. like I'm, I, I'm like, I have like a spaghetti in my mouth that like forces <laughs> me to keep talking about it because it's just so funny. But I have to, I have to be a good girl. I'm trying yeah, to rebrand a little spaghetti. bit. I, I feel it. Let's 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 rebrand a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So this orgy at your birthday party. Because <laughs> you didn't show up. You. I I wanted to go. I we're gonna forgive you. No, no, I I'll genuinely send you clips and have you cuck to it. No, <laughs> I feel bad because look, Kazumi, I, I appreciate you. You always invite me to your crazy ass parties, right? But look, I don't go out anymore. Like you I don't, don't go out because you're a papa. I don't. Yeah, and I just I don't I don't party like that. Like really at all anymore. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I was like, I gotta go to one of these Kazumi that parties. Birthday party was. Because it looked crazy And she was telling me The whole time She's like yo um, we're, we're, There's a performance At 11 It's gonna change your life <laughs> And I'm like Alright man I'm, I'm gonna pull up To one of these Fucking Kazumi parties And I had prepped Wifey and everything I'm like yo My homegirl That does porn She's releasing her merch it's like And she says It's gonna be like A mind blowing performance I don't know if I don't yeah, know yeah. If it's gonna be A huge and orgy I see you as human You know <laughs> I, couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't even do it <laughs> So I was like I was like I'm, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go But if anything I forgot what the circumstances were but I'm like alright uh, maybe I'll just pull up just for the show you yeah, know what I'm saying yeah. she's like come at 11 don't miss the show so I'm gonna try I'm gonna try I RSVP'd and everything I literally was you like literally RSVP'd I would yeah I had literally. fully intention intentions on going the homie card was revoked sorry NGL. man <laughs> 
So I'll pull up to one of them. One. Yeah, you have to go to the birthday because I throw smaller little idiot parties for, yeah. like uh, throughout the year. But the birthday is like I probably drop like like sixty grand on that. Ooh, that was, that was a big function. Sheesh. It was a, big, it was a very James Bond. I mean, I got. So what happened, if you guys didn't know, <laughs> I throw these crazy L.A. parties. They're sex friendly. They're not mm. a sex party. Those mm. are different. Sex mm. party means like you come in, pants down, you're yeah. ready to go. These are if you want to fuck. If you want to fuck, yeah, we're yeah, open yeah. to it. And it's cool because it's like we'll be talking and then maybe like we'll, we'll be eating our mac and cheese and then they're getting <laughs> balls deep over there and we're just chilling. <laughs> but um, this one was I had a giant platform mm. and yeah, I got fucked in it. I didn't take anyone's phones. And also, I made everyone sign a model release form because everyone was in my porn because we recorded it. Mm -hmm. on, <coughs> so, yeah, that probably would have been a brand risk moment for you. That is um, potentially true, yeah. Yeah, yeah and yeah. we had two giant jumbotrons, like a UFC <laughs> fighting match. So even if he was trying to avoid eye contact, you could... <laughs> You could there, there was my ass right there, my big butthole. Right there, and Your big like, butthole. <laughs> <laughs> my small tiny butthole. Uh, so sorry. My small tiny virgin butthole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, funny. Yeah. Yes. Um. And yeah, I got smashed. Yeah. yeah, I saw I saw the clips afterwards. Um, it looked great. It looked great. Cool. The, the pictures were dope. Uh, I, I like the effect of everybody, you know, being dressed in red while you were like getting smashed in the middle of this huge party. It also kind of added. I don't know if you saw these comments where people were like. It looks like fucking Sodom and Gomorrah. And no, it, it looked, <laughs> it looked evil as fuck. Yes, it, it looks kind of cursed. <laughs> but it was more so to launch my streetwear brand and mm -hmm. like my my Kazumi fashion. I sold out of a bunch of pieces oh, that day. Congrats. That's dope. What's the what? And the it's it's called it's called Red Light District. Sick. But I don't want it to necessarily be the head of it. I want to see if I can make another successful business without like attaching my clout to it. Like mm -hmm. I want to see if it can just stand by by its own. Mm -hmm. That is exactly what we were doing with Goody. Um, that's yeah. why we've actually never, actually even ever put a shirt out with my face on it. Uh, technically, no. It, aside from like the, the No Chaser <clears throat> shirt. Yeah, No Chaser shirt. And it was the, the first or second Tim shirt of the month. Which was what? Uh, the Tim little shirt cartoon. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we started, because, you know, whenever we would have these goody meetings... I um I would always have these really like stupid ideas that I I knew <laughs> weren't like aligning with the goody aesthetic, but I'm like, what if we did what this? What if we did this? It? So one day they were like, Rick was like, all right, well, how about we start doing this? We do a, a Tim shirt of the month, whatever dumbass shit you want to do, <laughs> we'll drop it limited release. So we started doing that. I for want a, a bit. Tim shirt of the month. Yeah. I, we I, we got well, you know. We, it's over now. It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all gone. Yeah, yeah. But, That's yeah. how I felt throwing a birthday party and then launching it at the birthday party with the merch and also getting fucked at my birthday party. I was like, this is against my uh, brand thesis of not being a face. <laughs> That's too funny. Yeah, it <laughs> I feel like you would have a good little time. You would just have to avert your eyes. I... Well, if I'm going, I'm looking at the very least. If I'm not fucking, I'm looking. You're going to look? I would fuck harder if you were watching. Oh, man. I, I would just be looking and like secretly jerking off in my pocket. Pocket There's strokes. No there was definitely a guy so bricked up at the front row. And I was like, bro, just pull it out and jerk it. And he was like, no, nah, that's far. I'm like, Bitch, I'm butt naked with my pussy open. Here, here's, here's, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> like, getting fucked in front of everybody, for some reason, it's not crazy to me. Yeah. Jagging off to somebody <laughs> getting fucked in front of everybody wanna, is crazy. I want to throw a flashlight party because every month I get five figures in residual income from people that buy my flashlight. And I only get like such a, not a minuscule percentage, mm. but it's kind of like, damn, that's like, if that's the percentage and I'm getting five figures, yeah. and that's like hundreds of thousands of people using my fake Plastic mm. pussy True. and jerking off. Like I want to meet y'all in the flesh, and I want to see it. Jerk oh, you want to see it happen? I wanna, oh, I wanna, yeah. I want to see like how many loads of semen can be unleashed. Sorry, I'm talking about this. <laughs> this is crazy. I just can't stop. Well, I was gonna say <laughs> here's here's my here's my foolproof. Um, <laughs> if I if I was jagging off at one of your parties, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm in the corner. I'm in the corner. I'm watching whoever whoever's whoever's fucking fucking. And I'm jerking, I'm jerking my shit in my pocket. Mm. But then they're like, Tim, are you jacking off in the corner? I'm like, yeah, what if you saw I got sunflower person? seeds, homie. <laughs> <laughs> These are just sunflower seeds, my guy. You Your boy was, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what you say? Ah, uh, y'all trying to play dice? Though? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I'm like, I've been itching to shoot dice all night, man. <laughs> Crap, so we. Mm. <laughs> but nah, you know, um, I, if, if anything, I was like, I need to go just. Just for the homie. Just for the story. Yeah. Not even for the homie. For the story. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but, uh, you know, one day. 
Yeah, yeah. I also launched, I'm <clears throat> doing a, a shroom partnership. Look at me on my entrepreneur shit. Hey, I know. had everyone do shrooms and it, and they peaked at 11 p.m. So when they saw me get fucked, it was very devilish. Oh, God, there I was bet. There a few people that were like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this is, I'm having a bad trip, man. <laughs> <laughs> this dude dick is four feet, four feet long. <laughs> having a bad trip in an orgy sucks. Everyone also started taking selfies with my big dick homie because afterwards he was walking around like he had a missile. He would mm. not put his clothes on. He wouldn't even put his shoes on. He just walked around with his big dick and all these guys kept seeing his dick and kept being like, <laughs> Let me put mine away. <laughs> they were like fucking whatever, bro. Like, yeah, I mean, if, if you just fucked in front of everybody, why get clothes? After yeah, that? yeah. yeah. Like, he was over, and it was crazy because it'd be like a girl after girl would come up to him and be like, "Yo, can I?" get a taste and he'd be like for sure and they would just like ride his dick for 30 seconds and then they would hop off and be like thanks and then Damn. he'd just continue walking down the party that's a good time yeah, yeah. For him. Are, are these girls who are in the adult industry so or everyone got who got tested before my party got a wristband mm. so at the end of my little sexy page <laughs> I brought, put my hands up and I was like wrist up and all these wristband homies put their wrists up and I was like finish me off and then they all tackled me and oh me. sick and well, I got tested and I didn't die <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Um, were was everybody that had their special bracelet? Was there anybody? And you don't have to don't say no names, but like, was there anybody who were like, oh shit, I wasn't expecting you to be down for this because I yeah. thought, thought it was gonna be mainly people in the industry or what? No, I invited every homie that I've ever met in my fucking life. Like, yeah. If you do my lashes, if you're my <laughs> trainer, yeah. if you were my freaking college roommate, well, they all know what type of time I'm on because yeah. I literally cannot shut the fuck up about fucking and sucking. <laughs> it's like against the law. <laughs> like it's like a it's against my my brand thesis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, well let's, let's talk about this then. What is the purpose of your uh, your slight rebrand? My slight rebrand. I just want to diversify and get more brand opportunities. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm kind of a brand risk, a brand explosion for some. <laughs> I do think times are changing. Mia Khalifa just fucking walked Vogue, bro. Did she? And, yeah, and Ray Little Black, she just did a TED Talk. So I think, like, porn stars were kind of couture, were kind of in right now. <laughs> I do think I just need to diversify a little bit and show that I have a lot more range so I can do <laughs> more things. I want to do TV. I want to yeah. do some other yeah. stuff. So Both of them stopped doing scenes for a long time before that, though, right? But you know what? The thing is, they haven't stopped the correlation. Because respectfully, they could all change their names and they could do a DMCA takedown and just take out all that porn. If they really gave mm. a fuck. Mm. But they know that, like, the part of their narr narrative is that they did porn. Right? Mm -hmm. I think for me, it's important to show that I still am an active performer because mm. I actually have no problem with porn. I love porn. Right. Mm. Yeah. I, your whole thing, you know, and especially, like, the last time you were on, you were saying, like, yo, I can do porn and I can still, you know, um... I, I, I'm a complex person, you know? I'm, yeah, I'm multifaceted. I deserve rights. Human rights. Thank you. Yeah, no, I think, look, um, a big part of what I do, too, um, and even from the jump when I was making my content, when I was talking my, like, um, risque, dirty, like, talking about my dick all the time, that shit <laughs> you was— You your dick? Uh, a little Tell bit. Tell me a Tim Dick fact. Uh, you don't know? No, I don't know anything about your dick. You don't? No, I, I mean, what? <laughs> I thought you was an OG fan. I, I was, but I didn't know you talked about your dick and extensively. Pretty extensively, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, two main facts would be like, I, curves to the right, I'd say that all the time. Oh, okay. Um, my pussy curves to the left, unrelated. Really? Yeah, yeah. So I pee, my pee stream goes to the left. So, so, so guys, if they hook the wrong way, I'm kind of like, it's a no for me, dog. <laughs> Yo, what's up, y'all? Today's episode is brought to you by Shopify. You know, Goody Brand, we actually use Shopify. And let me tell you, it makes it so much more organized, okay? When we started Goody Brand, an online store was the furthest thing from my mind. You know, I was trying to be in the mall. But now I'm selling all these fly-ass hats and shirts, and it's so easy, all because we use Shopify, okay? Look, Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business, okay? Whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell everywhere from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system wherever and whatever you're selling, okay? Shopify's got you covered. Now check it out. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash chaser, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash chaser now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in, okay? Shopify.com slash chaser. I got you. But yeah, no, like, well, early on, yeah, I used to talk about my dick a lot. I still, it comes up a lot. Um, uh, No pause. Uh, But like, 
And so a lot of people used to be like, why are you always talking about your dick? And I, for me, it was when I was doing my thing, there were no Asian guys at all who were talking about like sexual Thank stuff. Thank you. You're a president. Hey, girl, look, I think I'm you made here. Se- Asian guys sexy again. I appreciate that. I was that. telling the homegirls, I was like, yo, Tim kind of got that thing on him. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, <psh. laughs> like, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Elaborate? I was, yeah, I was just like, Tim's got like Such some a swag. Funny reason <laughs> to use that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Tim got like robust sexual energy. Oh, yes, I like, guess so. We're gonna, my homegirls were like, yeah, I see it. I was like, say <laughs> yes, bitch, the fuck? They were like, I would. I don't know if I would. I was like, I would. So there. Well, I appreciate that. It's very sweet of you to say. <laughs> I was standing up for your rights in the girl group chat. I was like, no, you're wrong. That's so funny. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. but well, I, cool. <laughs> for, for, yeah, for one, I, I, I appreciate that. Uh, two, um, yeah, that was that was why I do it. So it's like uh, there are layers to people, Asian dudes. Yeah. Can, uh, you know, I can be a well-spoken, intelligent dude and I can still talk my shit and joke about my dick and, you know, talk about and make stupid ass jokes. You know what I'm saying? And um, And I feel like when you were on last time, that's what you were trying to do. And that's yeah. what your, your kind of MO is like, yo, I can change the world. And still, I like sucking and fucking. And that's what I do. Um, I remember one time a homegirl was like, um, she, someone had quoted Marilyn Monroe. And my homegirl was like, man, but Marilyn Monroe, like, she was a, you know, she was a this and that. And she was sleeping with this and that. I'm like, I, hate her I was like, that doesn't mean she can't be smart. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, we can do it all. I, you know, I was telling someone, like, one of my favorite things is when I do my meet and greets, I get two types of Asian people. The first one is the one that's like, bro, you are, you're really fucking it up for us, bro. Like, mm. you are making us look, like, so icky wicky. And then the second one is all, has lately been a lot of Asian chicks. And they always want to show me, like, their homemade sex tapes out of nowhere. <laughs> and they were like, this Fire. is for you. Mm. And I, so I feel like I'm creating more of these, like, little Asian sluts. Like, you're welcome, <laughs> world. Because for me, like, it's, like, kind of funny, but it's, like... There wasn't, like, representation of girls like me, obviously, you Mm -hmm. know, especially, like, a promiscuous Asian chick that kind of owned it. Mm. Um, There's obviously hot Asian chicks this whole, since the history of time, but, like, owning your sexuality and, like, not being, not thinking of it as, like, this, like, kind of, like, hedonistic evil thing is Mm kind of, like, like, my whole thing. And I feel happy that I'm, like, inspiring these chicks to be their best whole selves, you know, because I feel like they're way happier. I think, you know, there's levels to that for sure. Within oh. reason and, like, responsibility. Yeah, and, and that's what I'm saying. It's like me and Rick have always said, um, you know, like, we, we have homegirls, of course, who have, like, fuck the homies, fuck the group of homies, mm. whatever. Yeah, and it's I'm like, a homie hopper. Um, and that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> because, like, we appreciate the homegirls who are like, yeah, like, uh, not, the ones who are almost like, ah, yeah, nah, nah, I, f- I fuck Jeremy, I fuck blah, blah, It's like, okay, whatever, okay, yeah, blah, blah, blah. As opposed to the ones who we know fucked all the homies and are lying about yeah. it or trying to hide it. It's like, we don't truth. care, you know? Yeah. Like, we yeah. actually don't care. You the homie, like. Like, I don't mind you keeping your business your business. Mm-hmm. But the ones that volunteer a lie, mm-hmm. he's trying to say I did, and I never, and I'm like, eh. We seen it. Well, yeah. All right. Yeah, they, they was literally yeah. right in front of us. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I was jerking off yeah. watching you. So. Was jerking off. <laughs> um, hold on. Uh, JC is downstairs. Motherfucker, Hi, JC. JC. That's our photographer. Yeah, he says he tried, but I think he's dumb. Um, <laughs> His brain is so itty bitty witty. <laughs> <Low key>. Okay. <laughs> she um, asked. Coming to your meet and greet to talk shit is crazy. No, it's like, bro, you came here to to say shit to me, but you're in line. Yeah. So I just I had to I waited it. three hours to let you know you're a disgrace. I'm just I, you guys have meet and greets. Could greet? you sign this? Do y'all have like no chaser meet and greets? Um, we had one when we did our live show. What do your fans look like? Like, are they like do they look like little Bobby Hundreds? Like Um Yeah. <laughs> Some of that. A lot of that for sure. This is JC photographer JC. Um we're okay. homies. We got history. Oh, do you? For real. For real? For? Yeah. For real. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yes. Uh, our meet and greet. It's a little diverse. Yeah. yeah. A little diverse. A little diverse. Um, I mean, for a while, I remember there was one, I'm not going to say which city it was, but everybody was musty. <laughs> everybody was strange. Everybody was musty. It and- was middle America, for sure. Um, you know, I'm not going to confirm nor deny. It destroyed it, a state. But it quick. wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't. Um, and everybody was musty. And then uh, we we had to come up with a code word. I'm not going to say what code word it was. Mm-hmm. But like to let the other person know that a funky ass person was about to come through the meet and greet. Because it was like a handful of us. You know, it was like me, Lil Craze, it was Rick, it was Angie Garcia. Like, Damn, that's a 
Musty, musty Lou. Oh no, we weren't the musty. Okay. Yeah, no, we, <laughs> no, no, no. Good. I'm saying we were warning the homies. Okay. But for the record, it was really bad. The warning wasn't to make fun of the people. Yeah, it's so that you control your face when yeah. it gets You're not to you. Like, hey, what's yeah. That? Like let's say, let's say, let's just say it's the like, cold. Yo, got some Kazumi coming down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or yeah. <laughs> well, let's say the cold word. The cold word was like French fries. You know what I'm saying? Be like, hey, yo, y'all want some fries? Y'all want some fries? Get ready for some fries, guys. And then like you know, because that was what was like, okay, this bitch about to be musty. Yeah. You know, you guys have like long. Long lines like super fans that are there like camp out for like hours type shit it's it's been there it's that, been there the particular one he's talking about was a crazy one i did this meet and greet where their line was so long i was like and i for, i was wearing those big red mischief boots it was like i, I remember was, that yeah yeah and a micro kini i thought it was hot for some yeah. reason and i told everyone if you want me to cut the line <laughs> if you want to cut the line you have to let me like freaking kick you in the balls as hard as oh possible. yes i remember that bro too. i was sending these little dudes to the stratosphere <laughs> <laughs> i was like this one guy he was like thank you and i was like okay so do you want to buy anything you want a picture he was like no that was it i was like bro so you just came in line to get to get kicked kick in the balls? Yeah. And then just be like deuces. Yeah. Damn. I, I don't think it hurt that much though. Big surface area. Big surface. If you did it with those, oh, it would hurt a lot more. Uh, yeah, and I guess yeah. the boots the boots are squishy, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, they're hard. They're are like they? little bowling balls. Yeah. Really? Really? Well, oh. yeah, they're like very hard boots. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I had some guys like on the floor and I was just like, damn. And they were like, I can't, I'm peeing blood. And I'd be like, oh. Ah. That's so funny. After you did that, some girls like made that their I know, thing. That, she made that her thing. I was <laughs> yeah. like, hey, hey, um, that's my daughter right now. Low, low key, I wanted to be like, hey. Hey, you you, you didn't come up first. with this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't invent ball kicking, but I did invent ball kicking in the with those giant big red boots. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever? Okay, so what's like the craziest thing in that realm that a fan was like, "Can you do this to me?" I've had a lot asked to take for me to take their virginity. I've taken a few. Oh well, that's great. You know what? Did, on on camera or just for funsies? Just, some are just for funsies. You are we a have G. To get tested. <laughs> One time I was in Cancun. I'm sorry, I'm a brand risk. <laughs> I had this. I had like this like frat group, and like they were like you know I was peacefully homie hopping. Yeah. And the last one. <laughs> On the for fundies in Cancun, yeah. a bunch of dudes that were just on spring break and shit. Yeah, that's amazing. On the last day, there this guy was like, "So I'm the last guy, but I'm a virgin." And we took like our our time, and like I told showed him how to finger. Yo, that group of homies, they some assholes. They should have <laughs> let him go first. Yeah, like what, what the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> Yo, life is one big game. They were like, were... "You don't even like pussy. <laughs> you never even had it." <laughs> they were preparing him for life, bro. You're never the first. You're never the yeah. last. You're just happy when it's your turn. <laughs> Say, look, bro, you're a good guy. <laughs> Shit's not gonna go good for you. You gotta get used to it. Oh, It'd be better man. if he was like the first. I don't know. Well, how was it? You know, it was very cute. It was very adorbs. Yeah, you said you took your time. You we took like... your time. He, t- he knows how to make a girl squirt. I showed him my piss porn, got him harder. Pause. <laughs> it was like cool. <laughs> Well, that's that's adorable. That's yeah, yeah. Cool. Look at you, man, changing lives. I've taken some weird, uh, weird had se- weird sexual fan moments. Like one of my first was um, this guy who'd only heard my voice on podcasts because he was completely blind. So I fucked him for Jimmy Zhang's YouTube channel. Yeah, and he was really into my breasts. I, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So he fondled my boobs for such an excessive... It's like, like really big Braille. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's one word. Yeah. yeah. It's like one, like, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> boobs. Yeah. Boobs. Uh, how funny would it be if, like, let's say whatever little, like, dimples on your nipples, like, spell out one random, like, fucking... Um, what you call me? <laughs> it's, it's like, banana peel. <laughs> one oh. fan asked me to get married, but we were in Vegas, so we did it. What? I'm actually still married to him. <laughs> You're legally married to this person. We no, we didn't sign the paper. We had a whole wedding though. Mm, cute, cute. Yeah, but I've had a few YouTube weddings as of course. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, that's fun. That's so funny. Okay. Okay. Because I, I uh, homegirl, I was just talking about earlier, Adriana Maya. She posted this clip recently where this dude was like, "Can you spit in my mouth at some uh, at some porn convention?" And I was like, "Ew." Ew. Yeah. <laughs> you're yeah, not a spit, you. bro. Yeah. I'm not a fan, no. No, you're not a spit guy. Uh, no, I mean like like spit in my mouth or spit in mouths. Nah, I never really. Uh, that was, was never, never your my. Sauce. Nah, what never you, my Rick? thing. You have a spit in my mouth vibe. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not 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 especially not a stranger. Oh, okay. Yeah, whatever. No. <laughs> I'm not. Anyway, look, look. I'll tell you this. I'm I'm not anti. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> not to kink shame you at all, but I am. I am, look. I'm not. I'm also not anti spitting in a mouth. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. If, Sometimes the moment calls for it. It's so extreme. Yeah, like if I was like if I was doing my thing and a girl I was messing with was like, "Yo, spit in my mouth," I'm like, 
Sure. That, that's different. It's not a Let stranger. Let me tell you an <laughs> evil spit moment. Please right? do. I hope you guys know that when you guys have dirt, like just smoked mm. or like had Thai food or just been a <laughs> whacking wacko, yeah. you, your spit is brown and it smells funky and it's just evil. Makes and sense. when you guys like do like the whole mission, when, when we're like in missionary and you guys like spit on your dick mm. and we see that evil spit fall slow motion mm -hmm. and we see it go on your dick, we like die a little bit. Oh, inside. because the brown spit. Because it's yeah. brown spit and now you're fucking me with your evil penis and your evil spit. That that sounds evil. <laughs> it sounds yeah. disgusting. Yeah, yeah, and we've known it. We're like, oh. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't smoke and I don't do stuff right after eating. I just think it's rude yeah. <laughs> to the lady. Yeah, yeah. I like to fuck first and then dinner after. Any order in between that is facetious and really r tarted. I Sorry. think you're making that. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> r word. R word. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think you make a, a fire point. I remember one time college. I was so annoyed because I mean not annoyed because it, it, this was like more shitty for her, not for me. But we specifically were like. Let's not do anything tonight. This girl I was messing with, and let's go get some boiling crab. You know what I'm saying? That's, like, that's, or, a, that's like, a long term commitment relationship type of dinner. <laughs> you don't go to bowling boiling crab when you're into talking. That's stuff. what I'm saying. Yeah. We weren't even talking. It was just like someone I was messing with. You know what I'm saying? And then like we had boiling crab, and then it was like I felt bad. Why don't I feel bad? Because like later on, like I was going down our we were like just doing mouth stuff. Dude, mm. going to boiling crab is a body. Like like <laughs> like that's like we're like in love and right, we body. share taxes. Yeah. <laughs> You got your fingers in my shit. I got my fingers in your shit. Yeah. But I just remember feeling like, man, my breath is crazy right now. I can't even believe she's let me do this, bro. Yeah. Like <laughs> that used to feel like the for sure. Okay, not gonna smash exactly. tonight. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you want to go bone crab? Okay, cool. Oh, bro, with my <laughs> I ex, got it. <laughs> yeah, with my ex, first date, in and out. I'm like, I'm I'm thinking ahead, right? Yeah, I'm thinking no onions. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> no double double, no onions, right? She's like. Can I get, yes, I'll take the onion. I was like, hmm. Oh, got it. It's well, over. I get it. It's over. <laughs> I get it. But, but then, also. But then you learn how girls are. They don't care, man. They don't give a shit. <laughs> I care. I uh, care. If I if I go this and I like, I'm like, it's over. I'm not going to step outside at all. That's it's, very hey, nice of you. That yeah, is yeah. very appreciated. Because I, I feel like girls have to know. Because sometimes when I'm on set and there's like <laughs> one chick with the stinky puss, I'm like, dude. Like, handle it. The fuck is wrong with you? Dude. Like, how do you not know that? That's so funny. We were literally just having this conversation. It uh, is, <laughs> it's crazy. I saw a video. It was one of those, um, not not porn, uh, one of those, like, white room videos. Mm -hmm. 20 V. That everybody's doing right now. Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And this girl was basically telling the dude he can smell it. And he was like, what? I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, wait, like she—he could smell her dirty. Breath. No, like, yeah, like he, he, she was allowing him to sniff it. What? And he was saying, "I'm gonna be honest with you," and she was like, "Yeah," because she was like, "I'm clean, uh, right?" And then she walked up and he smelled it, and he was like, "Yeah, nah." <laughs> Yeah, what kind of YouTube videos is he like? Is he like going under their skirt and be like? Oh, no, she man. had a, she had on leggings, but he had his face in it. He had her turn around. He had his face in it, smelling it, <laughs> and he basically told her like, like you smell like you've been out all day, mm. which is normal. Mm -hmm. But also, <laughs> there's a there's a fishy twang to it. I'd mm. kill myself. Some, <laughs> some BB that, going that on in there. That would be my thirteenth reason. Yeah, why. I'd be it'd be over. And she was like, okay, yeah, no, I, I respect it. I respect it. But why didn't you know it? Like, like how do you not know volunteering it? Volunteering the information. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. If I did a YouTube video where this guy's going to sniff my pussy, <laughs> I would be like... Yeah, no, extra I'm ready. Good. Yeah. yeah. Extra ready. But I will say sometimes we totally know when y'all just pooped earlier today. If we're giving head... And y'all on like had like a little like little little poopy moment. We know that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, of yeah, because we're in the same area. I, like I don't I don't I understand <laughs> that. That's so funny. Because a lot of girls be on that shit. But I, I'm never purposely serving up unwashed dick. Like if there is <laughs> if there is a place to wash my dick beforehand, mm -hmm. I'm gonna wash my dick, balls, butt, all of that. Yeah. Before. And I think it's so easy because it's like if we are at the club and we've been dancing and sweating and I, and we go to the room, I'm always like, babe. Let's like hop in the shower and like make this like a little sexy little moment. Something. Yeah. Judge, judge. Something. Something. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you're gonna be hit with something, something stinky. You know what? Something I, evil. I think it's <laughs> just. Uh, I think it's a regional thing too. I think a lot of people don't care. I remember in certain regions because I was in the East Coast one time. Oh, um, they don't give a fuck. They don't give because a fuck. they walk everywhere. Uh. Yeah. Um, and you know, out here we don't walk. We just don't. We're not you know walking people. We're yeah. not walking as people. They walk out there. So I feel like and Europeans. 
They walk. They, they, they be walking. And they be stinking. And, and I'm not, look, I'm not saying this is the whole. <laughs> they be stinking. They be stinking. I mean, hey, I didn't say that. I'm also not saying this about the whole East Coast. I'm saying there was a girl in the East Coast. Um, The plan was hit me after work. And this was even after work. So I kind of like, you know, but I, I come through and yeah, I'm going to go down on you, right? Yeah. She was like, cool. I'm going to walk to you. I was like, all right. Why? Why? She was like, she's, and this is New York. She's like, it's only eight blocks away. Exactly, bro. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Exactly. Eight blocks Me as fuck. thinking she was like going to get to the hotel, have a little rinse, a little shower. Yeah. Got in the, got to the hotel, eight blocks, takes off her layers because this is New York. <laughs> no, Boots, I have, stocks, I have the exact same story. Scarf, all that shit. Lays in the bed. I was like, huh. <laughs> huh. Okay. So and, just- and, I was like, all right, you know, I ain't no bitch, but like, and you know, New York women are also quick to call you a bitch. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, all right, cool. And it it didn't, it was no fishiness, but there was, of course, there was a must. Yeah. And I'm like, why not just you rinse? Know, like the seasoning, just like a little like dankness is fine. That's seasoning fine. is for that's, a relationship. Yeah, he, he, said, he said the pussy would be better when it's stinking. I was like, get the fuck away from that. That's, that's whack as fuck. That's mad yeah. weird. Yeah. Yeah. Same, same story, but my chick, she came from Jersey. So she and you was in LA. <laughs> yeah, she walked <laughs> from Jersey to LA and then got there and just <laughs> bent over. No scent though; it was crazy. <laughs> but I'm from Jer- New York, ah. and um, this was before Uber. Damn, niggas is old. <laughs> well, before Back Uber in the just East Coast, figure it out. yeah, yeah. You can walk or get a horse or <laughs> <laughs> nah. But she 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 took a cab to get to New York. And then close by me, and I'm like, whatever you take, I'm, I'll reimburse you. Mm-hmm. And then she was like, hey, it's taking mad long. I'm just going to walk these last 12 blocks. Last like, 12 is illegal. I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> yes, yeah, mad traffic over here. I'm like, all right, whatever. You didn't just be like, I'm going to call you a t- cab? Like, no, I, I told her that I can call her the cab. I didn't know where the fuck she was, mm-hmm. but I was just going to pay for whatever it was. When they got to my hotel, I go out there and I pay for the fucking cab. Mm-hmm. But I was just like, I'm just going to walk these last 12 bucks. I'm like, all right. She gets there, same shit, fucking layers. <laughs> but I'm <laughs> like, layers. I'm like, it, it is what it is. You got here taking the shit off. And it's just like, we doing this or what? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> doing this or what? Uh, so I don't know how to say it, right? Yeah, like, yeah. you don't want to, you don't want to shout. Sometimes. I said something and she was like, that's pussy shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shit, this bro. shit, <laughs> bro. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> but she didn't sneak at all. Okay. Like not, okay. not even. Thank God. Yeah, uh, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> all right. I will say, like certain homophobic ass men, they'll pull down their pants and they don't believe in wiping, and it's real. It's obvious. <laughs> like, I ain't gay. I ain't gay. I'm about to be cleaning my ass. ass. We've had we've had this conversation as well. Um, bro, it's pretty weird. It's, it's just pretty wipe weird. Your fucking ass, like oh my god. And we, they always have like a little stinky gym booty, and it's always like they're super manly. <laughs> Look, so it's like there's no real way to even criticize them. Whatever it is, beat the shit out of you. Look, <laughs> I'll be in that. Look, don't beat the shit out of her. Don't guys. beat the shit out of me, please. <laughs> oh God, you uh, start straight. <laughs> um, you know, me and Rick uh, have always been very like adamant about keeping our undercarriages uh, clean. Yeah, you know you're what I'm saying? White people. Not only uh, that, I'm like, I'm like fucking. Not only dude white, but if I can somehow. Wash my ass anywhere. I will. I, one time, look. One time, you're a bidet, bro. <laughs> I yeah. got bidets in my toilets. <laughs> yeah. I, I, okay. So one time, I've told this story before. Fucking Matt Reif. Um, he uh, he had an apartment in. This was before he was, you know, got money, and he had a little apartment, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and I was like, I knew he was around, and I was in LA like all day handling meetings and shit like that, and I was like, Hey, bro, look. Can I stop by your your crib real quick <laughs> just to use your bathroom? And he was like, "Yeah, that's just fine." To wipe your I was like, ass. honestly, I was like, "Yo, I need to wash my ass." Like, I've been out all day <laughs> and I shitted earlier after another thing. I need to wash my ass before I go to this next appointment. I can right? only shit in my home. I won't shit anywhere else. Oh, girl, I shit everywhere. <laughs> I shit everywhere. Sometimes you gotta. I'm a grown man. I shit everywhere <laughs> now. All right, I'm shitting right now. No. Okay. So I told, I was like, "Yo, let me just use your bathroom real quick. I need to wash my ass." He was like, "Ha yeah, whatever." Right? He wash your ass? No. What? <laughs> I need you to wash my ass, bro. <laughs> Wait, I have a similar Wait. story. Okay, so I go, I go, I literally just, I, I got in like two inches of bath water, got got bottomless, <laughs> and it, like lifted my shirt up and just washed my ass in his tub real quick. And so he kind of like, he came, I was like, can I get like a little towel or something, right? And then so he, I'm like, 
He sees me. He I'm in the his towel. towel to wash your he, ass. He threw me a towel, I think, right? So I'm in the towel. I got my shirt on. So he's like, did you just get in two inches of bath water to wash your asshole? I was like, yes, this man. This guy does not wash his ass. <laughs> I don't know. Obviously. Look, admittedly, I know that's a little weird. Why not just take a whole shower, right? Yeah. But it's like, I just wanted to wash my ass real quick. So just, just gas. All right, you, you had a story. All right. So um, in porn world, mm-hmm. the day of your anal debut is like your big birthday. Okay? <laughs> okay. So like every every company. It's been, like your quinceanera. Yeah. Every every company has been fighting over my asshole. It's happening. It's you happening. haven't done any anal yet? No, 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 no. I'm not wow. that girl. I've been a DV girl. Deep dish pussy alert. But like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have a deep dish pussy. I'm sorry. Oh, you've had multiple things in your one vagina. But they were schmedium on schmedium. They weren't big on big, so it was cool. <laughs> it was normal. Schmeeds on schmeeds, yeah. Yeah, schmeeds okay. on schmeeds. So, <laughs> um, I've, I'm no, training for my anal day mm-hmm. because it's my big day soon, and I just don't want to fuck it up because if I shit in front of one homie, cool. If, if I shit in front of, like, 17 homies, bye. Like, I'm... <laughs> Leaving the country. So I paid this dominatrix, okay. obviously, to learn, to stretch my asshole. And, oh. um, but, but <laughs> I just, I don't know how to clean it out. So she was like, I'll just do it for you. So she had me in the bathroom, uh, the bathroom floor of this hotel, fucking it up, fucking shit up. She had this enema. She was launching water into my asshole. And I was like, <laughs> Make, and she Why was like so that? sexy I was scared for my life And she was just turning me into this giant shit bag Water balloon I was so shy And she was like you look She was like do you want to make this a little sexy Do you want me to like, put on your tummy And kind of step on you like a little balloon Like a whoopee cushion I was okay. like that's not sexy And then like as soon as I was like about to explode I'd be like you gotta go you gotta go And oh I would just God. unleash like, like, Sheesh. like all over the bathroom floor I destroyed it I'm so sorry to the hotel workers And oh. then she was like, all right. I was, also, I was also paying her by the hour, by like a lot of money per hour. To do this to you. And it was taking, my, my homie, my gay homies were like, this sounds like a little kinky night. I was like, no, nah, I was educational. I was, I was like, to- wait, why not just go to like a medical uh, uh, animal? Yeah. Play? I don't know how people do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same shit. I don't know how except do you're it. not, like, it's not a domination. It's, yeah. like, it's a nurse it's with gloves. And you don't have to pay woman. by the hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then I, uh, we go into bed. She dims the light. She puts on some cool RB. <laughs> Starts fucking me in the ass missionary, right? Oh, with and, like a strap on? Yeah, yeah. And I kind of, okay. well, she was just having a dildo like this. Oh, okay. She was like rubbing me, like hold, rubbing my shoulders and just being like, breathe, relax. And I was making eye contact with her and I was like, bitch, are we like in love? <laughs> yeah. This is a, and she was like, no, no. No, oh, God. Oh, baby, bro. <laughs> and, then she, and then she bends over. She's like, now you clean my ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, so the story continues. So okay. I am still continuing my anal journey. So actually yesterday, this is crazy. I told my bisexual homie, I was like, I need help cleaning my ass. And he was like, enema party. So he comes over and then we both enema in front of each other. Interesting. Yeah. Um, we really got to know each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we were both little shitbag balloons at the same time. Wow. The end. Wait. <laughs> the shitbag part. Y'all, what, did, what happened there? <laughs> like, I did an enema, and then he blasted off and did his own enema. On the, on the floor? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I need a... No, don't be no, sorry. Do, do, sorry, do, sorry. Do, do, do. I'm just trying to... <laughs> I was trying to well, get I'm processing. It. Yeah. So it was like I would hop in the bathtub. Mm-hmm. I would I would fill my asshole up with mm-hmm. water. Uh-huh. Then when I would explode, I would go on the toilet. Then he would hop in the shower. I see. I he see. would enema it up. No, we weren't like side by side race enema. I, okay. I I wasn't imagining like a fucking like that see like the saw room <laughs> <laughs> or a Dexter room. Yeah. Fucking plastic on the yeah, ground. Yes. And I just go yeah. and y'all just psh, everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it kind of like got my fears over. Like if I shit on you, what? What are you going to do? <laughs> You're fucking welcome. It's my ass. Been there, done that, homie. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're going to beat the shit out of you. We went over this already. <laughs> Please don't beat the shit out of the me. The more shit out That's of you. so cute. <laughs> hey, but isn't there just, isn't there like a whole like protocol? Like you don't eat like two days before? And, like, no, you you can eat the day before, but I need to figure it out. So okay. like I, I'm just trying to do anal only Sundays. Um, <laughs> on the Lord's Day. Yeah, on the Lord's Day. <laughs> Makes sense, yeah. I just can't go to hell or like keep doing things that will bring me there (laughs) um (laughs) well holy shit am I right (laughs) no uh well uh, I love that for you um when when is when is your anal debut it's my anal debut is gonna be the end of this month I don't know when it's gonna be released Mm -hmm. um I'm just hoping it's gonna be a big day it's been crazy because like I've been telling the homies I'm like bro can you practice fucking me in the ass and each homie is like word (laughs) 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just come clean. And then I'd be like, okay, well, I have to call <laughs> my friends over. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. I gotta do a whole thing. So th- that's where I was confused because <laughs> I heard you say it's coming up, but you keep cleaning your ass. So I'm like, <laughs> How, how far <laughs> along does your ass need to be clean? Boy, no, you're like, cleaning it for the no, training. I'm practicing how yeah. to clean out. Oh. I, I'm not saying, like, I got to just... <laughs> oh, so you got it in the ass before, though. Like, you've, you've had anal sex before. Uh, just before, just in high school, for God. Um, <laughs> oh, to protect your virgin hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I've put, done many, a multitude of other things. Up your butt. No, no, just, just poopy butt. Okay, and okay, so now when you say the homies like help me practice for yeah, my yeah. anal scene or, and they're fucking you in the ass. I, yeah, I'm working on it. Well, I don't know. Like, I feel like <laughs> my boyfriend, he's been like, ah, I don't know if anal's his thing. And I'm like, come <laughs> on. <laughs> I'm trying to have you hit first so then I can like get yeah. cracked after. And he's like, ah. Get somebody else to do it. Get <laughs> <laughs> somebody I was like, I know you know somebody yeah. for this. You got, you got a homies? Shit. Uh, I was like, come on. What that one do? <laughs> I was like, you want me to keep waiting? And he keeps being like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm like, all right, well, I, this asshole's going to be giving up somewhere else. Yeah. You're not like, be fuck you in the ass. With this dick? Uh, uh, shit. Uh. Your boyfriend's like, you got all these dudes <laughs> fucking you in my pussy, and you want me to touch your little asshole? Uh. He's like, that's that's too far. Not you don't far. have a toy. Mm, I, I toys aren't the same as dick. Like I, I want. What like, about the ones that look like dicks? I have, yeah, I have dildos. <laughs> yeah, I put in my homie's like little ten incher, and I was like, <laughs> little ten incher. <laughs> Gee <laughs> And that was my next question. Are they at least giving you a, a schmied for your anal? What is a schmied? Sh- uh, what is, the, what is a schmied to you? Yeah. Last, shmedium? last time you what were is- here, schmedium. Schmedium. No, no, they're giving me a, a, an 11 inch. Why would they do that to you? I don't know. I don't know why they would do such a thing. I think, well, uh, I mean, I'm doing a DP because I've heard DPs huh. are actually easier. Okay. Because so, you're all just loosened, loosened yeah, yeah. up. But I mean, I mean, it's just. Go big or go home, I guess. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm know. going home. Yeah, for I'm me is probably like, home on that one. <laughs> a shmedium for me is like seven. Seven inches. Okay. Where, where, where y'all at? Where y'all at? Um, I mean, last time you were here, yeah. you said your uh, your fave is like a, a five and a half Oh, well, situation. guess what? I was lying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was lying for the internet. Wow. <laughs> but now I'm standing in my truth. Yeah. Really? Sorry. But I have fucked all sizes, and I don't <laughs> mind, okay? Kazumi, because, what? You, I lied on the internet. I'm sorry. You know how many? Listen, how many? How many five five inch boys you got hyped <laughs> off that shit? <laughs> There's a five inch gay stand up. Okay, I don't mind. Okay, I have never in my life when a guy pulled his pants down and he had four inches. I've never been like, ah, oh, it's a wrap. Like right, right, at right. that point, it's too late. You fooled me. I've been bamboozled, <laughs> and I'm here. Whatever. Yeah. Like, oh, you had too man. much swag, and I was into it. But like, it's the same thing as like titties. Could we all prefer a girl with some big ass naturals? Yeah. But if she got some like itty bitty titties, but she got a cool vibe and a fat ass, then it's fine. You're not wrong. Yeah, yeah. So it's not like I'd be like, oh, two inch. Uh, I, I personally like little titties, like genuinely like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not like, oh, I mean, I can work with it. It's like, yeah. oh, yeah, I but like your like little titties. But if a chick with yeah. like Triple H came in, you wouldn't be like, oh. <laughs> um, if Triple H and a, a B cup and I had to choose, I'm picking the B cup. Really? Yeah. Triple you know, H is crazy. Yeah, because he's going to be like, That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking trying to pedigree me and shit. Like, <laughs> no, thank you. No, but I, uh, samesies, samesies. You're I'm going B cup. Uh, B cup over Triple H for sure. Yeah. For, for, for me to do stuff with, right? But visually, I'm gonna look at the Triple H's. Cause yeah, I mean yeah. That's, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I wish I could have my boobs on like turbo a little bit. <laughs> you know, like so I wish funny. I could like bigger on. than this. These are like some schmediums. These are schmedium breasts. <laughs> Trust me, Daddy. You don't need to go bigger than that. All right? You're good. I want like airport titties. Like you know when you at the airport and some chick got like body. Body, yaddy, yaddy. I want body like that. Why the, why the airport? <laughs> like, that's like you see, like, the most, like, because that's what you see us at, like, the most equal. Like, you'll see the Claremont twins, but they're in pajamas. Okay. You can see, like, the dimensions. That's, like, the type of vibe I want. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. The, you made it make sense, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, if I'm at the airport, I see those bodies, I'm like, no fuck. That's crazy. So yeah. You just look like that for real, guy? Yeah, wow. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, Funny thing about your lie, though. <laughs> 
I told, I was I like, told I him. I retracted. I realized that I, I should never have said such a thing. We, we can cut it. Uh, we can cut it. But uh, I told him you were lying yeah, when you said it. And, uh, and he was like, nah, I think, I think yeah, because a lot of girls say, I'm like, yeah, it, it feels like a trend now, dog. To lie. Yeah, oh, yeah, real quick. Yeah, I have my preferences. <laughs> I have my preferences, but I don't mind a little wiener. I don't mind it at all. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, look, that's a fair point. The titty point is fair point. Um... Well, especially on that episode, I was like, Fiber Gang, let's go. Let's you know go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I'll say it again. In my real life, I've had people tell me that, all right? Not just porn stars <laughs> looking for clicks, all right? So there you go. I, mean, I will say. Yeah, because people don't lie to you in real life <laughs> to get it on your good side. Never happens. <laughs> I will say over dimensions, I feel like I care about girth more. And if I care about anything about a dick, I care about uncut versus cut. Because everyone can agree that uncut is vastly superior. If oh, is that, cut, is that how you feel? If you're cut, you're literally like 1% less man, dude. <laughs> like like that, that little part of you is gone. Is that yeah. is that the consensus? Or are you lying? All my, home girls, <laughs> all my homegirls think this. If you have a cut dick, we're roasting your ass in the group chat. Interesting. Hilarious. Show us. We'll roast you. Well, uh, well, <laughs> right, well news I'm, to me. I'm going to go get roasted. <laughs> What's the group chat? Well, like, cut, cut dicks are usually American, and American guys kind of like don't have like a, such a strong dick game as like European dudes. I think it depends, though, because like, all, like my best you know. is my, my best. <laughs> yeah. So I, think, I, don't, I don't know well, if you can write American you guys. I'm sorry. No, I was going to say my, my best is Mexican homies, uh, all uncircumcised, <laughs> from what they tell me. Yeah, and they uh, dig whack. <laughs> so, shit. Yeah, rad, you dick, to say. Trash homie dick, let me tell you. Uh, and then all the guys at JK News also. I love all of those they guys. They say they are, all, they are all also uncut. Dream so train, honestly. So <laughs> that's like. Majority of the homies in my life all say they are uncircumcised. So, do you feel like you're like a like a, like robbed because you don't have your foreskin? Like, no, I almost feel like, like it's. You know how the, some people don't have a dad. But like, <laughs> it's like you don't have your foreskin. Like, damn. Yeah, but the dudes without dads will be like, nah, I made me a stronger man because of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, for most of the dudes without dads get to the NBA and shit like that. So <laughs> I mean, <laughs> gives them you know that motivation. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, for me, I'm like, I'm look. All right, look, 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 <laughs> look. I don't got that extra foreskin, <laughs> but at least it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I um. Uh, I have always um, been, well, my, my first experience with someone talking about foreskin like that was uh, that episode of Seinfeld where Elaine, she's like, she had never seen an uncircumcised penis before. The kind she's of anteater like. Ant -eater -like. It, well, she was like, she was like, I don't know, man. She's like, the uncircumcised ones, she's like, mm, they have no face, no personality. <laughs> no vibes. <laughs> no yeah, vibes. Yeah. That's so funny. But, um, well, I mean, I, I appreciate that. Uh, Sorry to dick shame you, bro. I mean, oh, she, oh. she double dick shame. Sorry, sorry, yeah, two sorry, times. Sorry. Oh no, I don't. I don't care. And I was just gonna I'm, say, I'm, oh, there's there's yeah. no shame in my dick. I'm very proud of my dick. You're very yeah. proud. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dick Your dick awesome. has probably been like very important to the whole Asian race. <laughs> and and you know what? And that's I actually thing too. think so. Well, that's you. You're you're speaking facts. Yeah. Um, because <laughs> and my vagina huge. Oh, girl, you you you, you 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 out here repping. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the beginning, as I said, as I spoke about my dick a lot. My my joke was always, it's not big, but it's pretty. It's not big, but it's pretty, right? And it was dudes that were in my DMs initially who were like, "Why are you always saying that? Why are you always saying that? Um, it's making us Asians look bad, right?" And the thing about it is, okay, look, um, yeah. Depending on who you ask, I was average, right? But I always said it's not big, but it's pretty. Because for me, it was like, it was all about, yeah, it's easy for a dude to be like, nah, I got a big dick, whatever, whatever. For me, it was all about being like, nah, nah, I'm saying my shit ain't big, but you still see me pulling. You still see yeah, me yeah. confident. You still see me out here. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it was about- You're taking notes, yeah. Well, and they did. They did. <laughs> <laughs> it was about not letting what people tell you is like a handicap hold you back from achieving greatness in life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can achieve some dime pieces on a five-incher. You are correct. Yes. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching another episode of the No Chaser Podcast. <laughs> Thank you to our guest, Kazumi. Always a great time. Yeah. Next time, we'll rebrand. We'll rebrand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, next time, I'll rebrand. <laughs> yeah, got it. Yeah. So funny. I sharted oh. on this whole podcast. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it was beautiful. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Tim Chantaranxu. I'm Ricky Shucks. I'm Bye. Kazumi. Oh, she's Kazumi. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>